you queer cats or tone setters The same reason my main legion of wrong wetters With long cheddar, mixed with lines written No time slipping, when we rhyme spitting Divine mission, since the house days G.A. Grandma left DJ Tanner outrage The South stays, about that Beretta clapping Lines balanced with Head on over to Spotify and all other streaming platforms. Check out the No Mercy TV podcast. Let's talk. The other slap. <laughs> you feel me? The 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 slappy with my iron palm from St. Louis to Cybertron. Des F, appreciate you. Definitely hit that like button. Hit that like button. Um, I thought it would be Destruction versus Sharon. That's what I thought it would be, too. That's what I thought it would be, too. I, I would have thought it would have been Diz versus Sharon in the finals, but shit, that ain't happening. But I wouldn't mind seeing that on another card. You feel me? So, um, man, 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 man. Fire the Misfit versus 40 Bars. Now, um, for those of y'all that don't know, they battled on Verbal War Zone. Y'all know Big League right now. Uh, people battling over beats. Um, Verbal War Zone, no bullshit, is one of the best leagues out right now. Let me make sure we have that understood. Verbal War Zone is one of the best leagues out right now. Like, if you ever want to take a break from the acapella battles, go watch your Verbal War Zone battle. Like, that will kind of like, I feel like, refresh your ears and give you a whole new perspective on battle rap because now you're getting the um the on beat side of things you know what i mean so salute to them salute the uh butter from the block salute the chosen like yo they putting on over there they really putting on over there and i rock with them guys heavy you feel me like even before verbal war zone like these are guys that i had a good rapport with like you know what i mean so you know um even chosen he used to come to trap events heavy you feel me i gotta get to a verbal war zone joint matter of fact you know what I mean? Like I, I got I gotta get back on my on my league support and shit. Like I was supposed to go to We Go Hard yesterday, but um they wound up having a venue switch last minute and you know it just so happened that where I was, it wasn't convenient anymore. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, um Bill Collector easily had one of the best rounds on Verbal Wars on that. We liked you better as a fat nigga. <laughs> yeah. That was fire. Um Cortez when he battled uh did was it fire the misfit he battled? The, the the Cortez had a joint that went viral because he was just going crazy. Like, yo, Verbal Wars gonna be having some moments. <laughs> yo, that chess shit was crazy, man. I don't know how he let that happen. You should not choke battling on beat. Like, come on, man. That's the last thing I'd expect. Like, I don't know if maybe it's the way the, the mics were set up or if maybe the real, I don't know what it was, but Chess should not have been choking on beat, man. That was bad. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, so yeah, they had an event this past weekend. Um, it was on Saturday and, uh, the main event was 40 bars versus fire the misfit. Now, if y'all don't know fire the misfit, um, he's one of the top gunners on verbal war zone. Like he doesn't even battle rap. He don't do acapella battles. He just does on beat battles you feel me and um he's one of their top guys over there like he's really pushing he's really getting pushed over there so they put him against 40 bars and um they're battling so uh while fire the misfit is rapping he has a prop he's throwing money on 40 bars right he's throwing money on her and um because he's throwing the money she starts twerking he takes it a step further and slaps her ass. She turns around and she smacks the dog shit out of him. Like she damn they tried to smack his head off. I'm like, whoa, that was a hard slap. You feel me? Like, yo, like I understand like a light little slap, but she really tried to take his dome piece off and he kept rapping. How do you keep rapping after that? Like, yo, that has to be the best, uh, the best example of being able to rap through anything like bruh if you could rap through getting slapped 
you are a problem. <laughs> you feel me? So, you know, it takes a certain level of focus and concentration to be able to do all that. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, a lot of people had a lot to say about it Um, just in terms of, you know, it, it's... I, I, I don't know, man. Like, th- here's my thing, right? Here's my thing. I'm a person... I prefer people to keep their hands to themselves, right? Because when you do certain things, it opens the door for a lot of other shit. So me, and this is just me as a man, yo, I'm not touching a woman in no type of weird places. Like, I'm not doing that. I don't care if it's provoked. I don't care. Like, I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not doing that, especially outside of a bedroom outside of a strip club. Like there was no reason that dude try to go for the feels like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, and people was trying to justify this. People was legit trying to justify that. They're trying to justify like, Oh, she was twerking, blah, blah, blah. A woman twerking don't mean you just walk up to her and slap her ass. <laughs> like you feel me? That's not what type time, like, I don't be getting niggas, man. I don't be getting niggas. Like, her twerking do not mean you palm her cheeks. It just doesn't. You feel me? So that slap was warranted. And for the people that was out there trying to justify it, it's like some people even saying that people who justify it are damn near, you know, condoning rape type shit. You feel me? Because it's like, yo... You don't just randomly touch a woman like that. Like, what are you doing? You feel me? So, you know, um, <laughs> remember a hundred nuggets kept rapping. Um, but um <laughs> yo. Um but yeah, I, I don't agree with with touching a woman in that manner, man. That that's just me. You know what I mean? You got some niggas who actually condone that shit. Like I'm not I don't jack that. I'm not jacking that. No, no, no. I am not jacking that. You feel me? Like, keep your hands to yourself, yo. Like, it don't matter what a woman is doing. Like, listen, a woman twerking is not like uh, a person punching you in the face and you're not doing nothing. Like, because she twerk don't mean you have to respond to it by touching her. Like, you're not going to be looked at as funny or weird for not responding. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those things where I just feel like you're not justified in touching her just because she was doing something like that. You know, um, a lot of people were trying to bring up other examples like, oh, what Yoshi did to Bill. Um, what, what was it? What Bonnie did to Sharon. I think Bonnie grabbed his nuts or something like that. Like, even with that, yes, I know uh, a woman doing that is kind of like opening the door for it or whatever the case is. But, People, people got to realize, like, everything is not a double standard. Like, as a man, you should not be pressed to touch a woman just because, like, she does something, I guess, that's quote-unquote inviting it. Like, bro, you can, like, resist yourself. Like, if a woman is battling you and that's part of her performance and she does something like that, you're not required to touch her back. Like, you're not going to be looked at as weird if you don't do anything back, like let her get her shit off and keep it moving. You understand what I'm saying? And pe- people run with this double stand. Like, I don't really believe in double standards like that. I don't. Why? Because we're men and they're women. There's certain things that they can do that we can't. There's certain things that we can do that they can't. You understand this? It's just us being two different species, being two completely different types of people. You feel me? Like, when y'all say double standards, sometimes I <laughs> grab this pogo stick. That's funny as hell. Um, <laughs> yo, y'all are not about to sit on my... I'm not about to uh, get on this live over-sexualizing official. <laughs> you feel me? Especially my wife in the next room. So, <laughs> y'all wilding. But, um, yo, y'all are crazy. 40 bras. Wow. <laughs> yo, y'all are different. Y'all are some savages, man. Shame on y'all. <laughs> Shame on y'all. But um, nah, man. Um, I, I I feel like when it comes to double standards, when people say, "Oh, double standards," like, okay, is it double standards that a woman can wear a bra and you can't? 
Like I I know um Bible Boy was, you know, in wearing bras and shit. Hey, maybe he's one of them people that don't believe in double standards and felt like, hey, if women can do it, I can do it too. But um men, no. You cannot wear a bra just because women can do it. Like there's certain things that they can do that you can't do. So throw all that double standard BS out the window. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. But niggas are just okaying and justifying everything out here. Like, come on, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, um, but yeah, man. <laughs> Yo, official and it official, that's obvious. Like they just be out there. So of course you're gonna see it, like whether it's on camera or when she taking selfies and shit like that, like hers are just like ridiculous. You know what I mean? But um <laughs> that's the most I'm gonna say. Yo, y'all look crazy. Y'all look crazy in this live chat. Y'all look crazy. And that's why I be leaving my live chat replay up because I don't because I don't be having my live chat on screen, people probably don't be knowing what I'm talking about. But if y'all click the live chat button under the video, y'all will see the comments that I'm responding to. You feel me? But um, man, that that slap was definitely warranted. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, he he deserved that one. You feel me? And this this ain't no no not to dude or nothing like that. Like I don't know dude from a can of paint. You feel me? But I do not think that he should have, you know, palm shorty ass like that. You know what I mean? So. You know, that's just my my personal opinion. Um, I seen somebody do an interview with her, or what they call an interview, on a uh, fifteen minutes of fame. I don't know who it was, but man, listen, Uncle Rye, if you don't get out there with your camera and get the real forty bars interview, that that interview, I don't know, that looked like that came from somebody boost cricket phone or something like that, and and it wasn't even conducted like a real interview. It was just like, yo, man. Man, she better pull up the 15 minutes of fame studio, get that full, that full 40 bars interview and anything. You feel what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man, that that slap was just crazy. That slap was just crazy. Like you feel me? So um, you know uh, but shit, man, everybody good. You know it was it was a couple of slaps, but ultimately nobody got hurt. So you know I I know fire the misfit. His face still be his face still got to be stinging right now. His face probably like Jim's red, like old school Jim's when Jim's was battling shotgun shrug, fat and losing breath and shit like that, like just turning red like a tomato. Like his face, fire the misfit face probably looking like that after that slap. You feel what I'm saying? But um, 